Hey guys, so I'm live right now because I've been doing a little bit of research and I wanted to tell everyone about something that I actually used and then stopped using it and then I'm going to start using it again, but it's definitely a way to get your mitochondria spinning faster. It's a little bit of a hack um, because you can't really get this stuff uh, easily in the United States because it's only available through a prescription or through research, but um, I'm not advocating anybody use it. You have to do your own research, but I use it and um, I see a difference right away actually in a lot of my symptoms. Um, I just stopped using it because sometimes I just stop using things because I don't feel like I want to use them the rest of my life. Um, but I'm actually in the process of trying to figure out how to methylate better which was something uh, that happened to me when um, when I had the poisoning, I found out that I am double homozygous for MTHFR. And that basically means that once that's activated, I can really no longer cellularly get rid of a lot of toxins. And I noticed lately, even though I'm doing all these great things, going in the sun and uh, drinking the right water, um, my environment, I just feel like because I live in a place that has tons of Wi-Fi and I just feel like I'm really not at the level that I want to be at in terms of my progress to get even better. So I kind of started looking at this methylation thing because I didn't really focus on it so much because I was just, I was getting better on all the things I was doing, but now I really want to be optimal. So uh, I went back to some of the literature and some of the things that I did, and I remember reading about something called methyl blue. And methyl blue actually was one of the first synthetically derived pharmaceuticals. Um, and it's supposedly, from my reading, one of the safest things that you can take in terms of pills and things like that. Um, but it comes actually um, in a powder or in a liquid form and it dissolves in water if you get it in a powder form. But you put a couple drops on your tongue, it tastes terrible. I'm just gonna let you know, really disgusting, very, very, very bitter. Um, and you can see I have some on my tongue. So taking a couple of drops of that um, and washing it down with water, um, can really increase your body's ability to enhance nitric oxide, which is one of the main things that our cells need in order to, and our body needs in order to properly function. But I'm using it now as a hack to see if it's going to help me with my methylation. Now, I don't know. I've been looking for studies if there's a correlation between that. But just from all my research, I'm putting two and two together for what I need it for. But in terms of other things, like I'm doing this hack to see if it's going to help me with that. But I know overall, it's really good for your brain. It improves your memory. It also um, improves your heart um, and the way your heart functions. It improves your cells. It improves your mitochondria. So there's all these great positive things. We just have to make sure not to take too much. So I recommend a drop or two uh, during the day in the morning. Um, I am not recommending anybody take this until they research it themselves. I'm going to put information at the end of this video where you can get all, all the information to research it. Um, don't do anything that you are not comfortable doing. I'm not recommending anything. I'm not a doctor. I don't cure. I don't diagnose. I'm just telling you what I do. And if you want to get this, I'm going to put a link at the bottom um, of this video also so you can see where to get it it's not really that expensive it lasts a really long time and you can read all about methyl blue and see if that's something that you want to take advantage of to see if it helps you with your gadolinium symptoms it definitely helped me and now i'm going to use it even more to regain optimization so let me know if you have any questions below i appreciate it thank you i hope you guys uh, get better